Now I wonder if my shirt's going to start changing color. Used to have fluorescent lights. But I'm going to talk about AI, artificial intelligence in computers, uh, which they use to uh, manufacture the vaccine. And they, well, actually, they, it, it was created by a computer. And they were looking at combinations of exactly how much to use and what to use and what chemicals, you know, to mixture. And they, one of the things they did is put in, at what point is this toxin? If you happen to be taking a regular prescription drug uh, before or after. Uh, some people have gotten um, flu shots and the... Um, the vaccine at the same time, which is, they said, oh, no, no, you can't do that. But some people say, oh, well, don't worry about it. Well, yeah, some people have bad reactions to stuff. And they were running this on this, every variant they could think of, and, uh, and they were asking it to look at uh, toxins. Basically, they gave them the Merck Index, if you know what a Merck Index book is, right. Uh, and to find out uh, the toxicity of the vaccine. And then they let the thing go, the computer to go wild on its own. And it start making combinations of aspirin. And, uh, you know, just simple stuff you can find on the market, cough medicine, aspirin, and it starts looking at how much, how much, at what point does it become toxic? And uh, they allow it to run over the weekend. It started creating chemicals that's not in Merck Index. It started to create chemicals that would be considered against the Hague's ruling. I mean, look at this stuff and say, like, we created a Frankenstein. Yeah, but well, I mean, you're also creating new drugs that's never been seen. Um, combinations of uh, street drugs. Street drugs, yes, this looks like a street drug. Yes, where is this computer getting this information? It's, it's into what, where, how? It looked at cocaine and did, 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 did. At what point is it harmful to the human body? And that it should not be used in combinations with other things. This uh, vaccine should not be used in combinations. Um, cough syrup, the same thing. A lot of stuff you would find on the, um, off the uh, prescription drugs, and then with stuff you can find in the front of the uh, counter. <laughs> it's like, wow, look at this information. Wow. And then we got really worried is, this is phosgene. This is Serian. This is VX. And they say, this stuff is worse than what man makes. Yes, it's a Frankenstein, let walk loose. And they said, we got to, well, it also, remember, when it puts this stuff out, it puts a little red flag to everything that would be dangerous to a human being or an animal or a plant or an insect. And what they also use this thing is, well, can we find a, a a malaria drug or yellow fever. Well, we know yellow fever is malaria. Uh, and they're looking at hu other human diseases. I mean, really, looking at the other human diseases as, oh my goodness, it's like Alzheimer's. So they got a, quote, a chemical or a drug for Alzheimer's. And they, when they ran that thing through, they look at, well, 
it's going to work on this type of person who's not taking that kind of me heart medicine, who's not taking this, not doing this, and not doing that. So Alzheimer's, they created Alzheimer's uh, drug, but it just can't be used if the other person's doing something else they're not supposed to be doing. You know, don't use it with alcohol. Uh, is it okay with coffee? Is it okay with cola? Uh, because coffee contains all these chemicals. Cola, your Coca-Cola contains all these. Look, look at the label. And the thing was going wild. And they, it stacks of information produced, stacks of information, combinations of everything. I realize is that, my God. But of course, they're sitting in a multi million dollar computer complex that most people, most, well, outside of nations, may have access to. And they said, why have we created? Oh my God. Look, we got a new in insecticide, which is great. New, well, it'll take out this bug, but it won't kill that bug, which is great. Uh, we got a new insecticide for um, plants. It will not kill honeybees. Okay, wow. But um, yeah, so they have created an AI have, my God, we have a Frankenstein on our hands. Um, let's make sure it doesn't get too far into the internet. I mean, not like our, us humans. Ah, uh, the Terminator. And let's make sure anybody who has ac access to this information because a lot of the things were combination of drugs became deadly, at what point becomes deadly, creating chemicals that don't exist, only in a molecule on the computer, uh, very complex uh, molecules. Um, I guess somebody says, I wonder if I can patent this. Uh, I wonder if I, how many patents has this thing created? Oh, well, think about it. What's in Merck Index? Merck Index. How many patents are uh, were created? But now this AI has created new chemicals. Now, what can they be used for? I guess that's the next thing they program. Then, what can they be used for? You know, you create a new chemical, but what can you do with it? Um, like when you when they first came out with plastic. What are we going to do with this? Let's make ping pong balls. What? Let's make ping pong balls. Let's make golf balls out of it. Yeah. You know. what, what else can we do with it? Yes. Um, but I guess that's the whole thing about AI. Uh, it's, uh, as, as much as it can cure something, it also can be toxic. That's what you have to watch out for. Um, it's like formaldehyde. Yes. Doesn't it contain alcohol? And will people drink it? Or let me see. What, what is the other one? Um, alcohol. Um, radiator, car, antifreeze. Yeah. Three alcohol. Mm. Yeah, no. But somebody says, well, they need a multi million dollar computer to run this stuff, and then they need the codes to set it up. It took them a long time to actually get the software to, to create this. And uh, so, but that's our little thing on AI, artificial intelligence. It produces dual thing. It's left thing like um, uh, here we have a butter knife. And, uh, uh, but you can stab somebody with it. You can spread it or stab it. Dual purpose. I don't know what I'm used for anyway.
My dear, what do you use me for? <laughs>